One, two, one, two. Is that better? Yeah, you can hear me, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Judy, hey, what's up? Mike? Good evening, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. So that's it. We are 13 already. Awesome. Okay, here comes Caroline, too. Jocelyn. Guys, please turn on your, cam on your camera if possible. Try to turn on your camera as soon as possible, please. We're gonna do the attendance. Okay, don't forget to put your full name. Okay, our, today is our conference number 19. Today is our conference number 19, and we're going to continue with our topic, finding out more vocabulary. Hmm. We're gonna learn some interesting things today. Okay, let me do the attendance first, as usual. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Carolina Ived Romero Avelino. Present, good evening. Good evening. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. No. Heidi Eugenia Present. Eugenia de Rivas. Present. Thank you. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. There. Present. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present. Teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Sandra, I saw Sandra somewhere. Yes, she is. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte.
Wendy Patricia. No. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Suleim Ivonne Moreno de Rick Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Okay. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher. Excellent. Okay, guys. I'm going to start today with a general topic, something that you may like to talk about. Um, have you ever wondered how do regular families with normal salary do? How do they do? How do they manage? How do they manage to survive with, what is it, $367 a month? How do they manage to live on low income or on minimum wage? Okay, so how do they manage to live with minimum wage? Hmm. Okay, and number two, would you be willing, would you be willing to work OT? Um, Why? Okay, so I have these three questions for you to start thinking. How do they manage to live on minimum wage? Will you be willing to work OT and your job, you know, but do a lot of hours to make a lot of money? I'm talking like crazy, you know, like working from Monday through Sunday every day without seeing your family, would you be willing to do that? Why? Okay, so think about it. How do they manage to live on minimum wage? What options do you have when you have minimum wage and you have three kids, four kids? And you, where do you live? Where do you live if you do the minimum wage in our country? Got it? Become immigrant. <laughs> no, no, that's the point. That's the point. What alternatives do you have with minimum wage here in El Salvador? I want to hear your opinions. Really think about this. This is something serious. Let's say in groups, I want you to discuss, to come up with arguments, you know, and, and think about the things that you can buy, things that you cannot buy if you make the minimum wage. And do they really do that? I mean, the families on minimum wage where only the, the guy works, you know, only the, the father works, a family of five, let's say, only one of them work. Hmm. Okay. How do they do that? Okay. Give me figures. Give me figures. How much do you think they spend in the supermarket? Hmm. This is related. Let's go. Okay, come on, let's go. Sandra, let's go. I am better. <laughs> You look much better today. Yeah, <laughs> we are leaving. <laughs> you are alive. Did you, did you were sick? 
What you seek? What you seek? What you seek, Johnny? Yeah, I, I must see. De las luces. I was uh, someday in the hospital. <laughs> I spent I spent I spent really? some days in the hospital. Oh, okay. Thank you. Keep going. Keep going. Don't feel shy because I'm here. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna keep quiet. And tell us um, how, what kind of symptoms do you have? How? Mm, no, breathe. Uh, salary, they spend money in a different scale, right? Teacher, how do you say presupuesto? Budget. 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 Uh -huh. they, uh, they make budget according to, to that income. Like that. Yes, um, because... Uh, Depend on, depend on, because some people are saving money for traveling or, mm. or... A minimum wage with three kids. But there is, there is, oh, there are things that I don't understand because sometimes this, sometimes, Sometimes um, uh, people uh, have a good cell phone, good, uh, better TV, go to the parties and with minimum wage. I don't know. <laughs> How how they how do they how how do they how do they how do they how do they Imagine if you were the person who is earning that salary, the minimum wage, and you had to pay the school of your song. You had to pay the food, the bills. Okay, well, in my case, uh, I had no that experience tense gap because I only have one daughter. It is crazy and it's really expensive because my daughter is autism. She goes to a special school. Okay, and I must have someone to take care of her while I am, while I am working. And in this case, I just had an experience when my brother because he's a teacher, uh, a science teacher. When he has finished uh, the career, he started working in a private school teacher, believe me. And do you know how uh, the salary that he received mm -hmm. to provide the classes maybe for, for more than 100 students was $140. It's too few. Uh, yes, uh, he was really, really uh, disappointed about this because imagine you start, you, uh, study for maybe three or five years and you go to a private school and you receive that salary it was really really hard for her for him sorry and that, at that time he was married but just uh, the lady and he in him but it was very difficult to deal with pay the bills pay the house 
was really, really difficult for him. Now he's better, but he, he really suffered. Okay, this is my opinion. In my case, I will be, I, I, will, I will do the overtime teacher. And I, I do, when I had the time, when I want, I want to, I do overtime. I mean overtime. Okay. Yeah. Not too many hours when I was, when I used to do, but I try. Even I am tighter, but my daughters, these are all. <laughs> and my family. Mm, okay, my case about the, the overtime. Uh, my company, we don't have to do, we can do overtime uh, with extra paying. Maybe if you have to, 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 to over, do the overtime. Uh, or, yeah. or good uh, cable service mm. too. Really? But maybe you had to pay maybe fifty dollars for have a good service or forty dollars forty dollars. Yes, but the, but, the, but in this time I think have a good service of the internet is a need because you know all the classes are in the, in the in, in the platform of Google, and it's, it, you need to to have a good service for your children. Or maybe if you work, you have to work, uh, have communication uh, with the people of your of your work. You need to have a good service. Yes. Now, yes, it is necessary to have an uh, internet service, a uh, good service for mm -hmm. the same internet service because the, the regular class now is online. Mm -hmm. Regular classes now are online. Mm -hmm. Regular classes are online. Mm -hmm. Maybe the person, the people that have the minimum wage, they need to take their job, or maybe uh, our part time. No, maybe they have a small business. So. Yes, but people with the minimum wage, usually two or three families live in a one house. In, in one house, in, in one our house. in one house, in a, in, a, in one house, yeah, it's incredible. But the 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 family, you can find three family or four family in one four house. Families, families, only in one house with the minimum wage. Yeah, that's true. Yes, this is the the, the reality in El Salvador. Yeah, I, I remember an old neighbor that the, the, it's, a, it's a very, very small house, but live uh, eight people in a house with two rooms, bedrooms, two bedrooms, eight, eight people. Yes, this is the viene el teacher o no okay what do you think what do you think about the two uh, two questions or three teacher uh, what do you say oh, uh, ot tiempo extra what is the Over. meaning what is the meaning of ot uh -huh. overtime tiempo extra Mm -hmm. Maybe teacher just but uh, for hours only uh, depending on <laughs> it depends on the need yes. yes it's up to the need um, yeah if you if you have the opportunity I mean and you have a need why not yes. 
And the second question, what do you be willing to work or teach? Yes? Why would you be uh, willing? To be willing to work or teach. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they organize the, the, the need and the expense. And, okay. and they, they get out, use the surviving. And I like this, the prioritization, the need, for example, the, the, um, the food, uh, medicine, um, the doctor, depend the need. Exactly. Okay, guys, you're not so talkative today. Let's go. Okay, so where are the others? The others. I'm sorry, I had to sneeze. What's the meaning of sneeze? Turn mm, around. Yeah, good. How do you say toser? Cough. Cough. Okay. No. Yeah, it is. How do you mm -hmm. say bostezar? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. These are intermediate words, you know? <laughs> really? Yeah. Unless... How do you say? Uh huh. How, how do you say bostezar? Young, young, young. Young. Mm. Hmm? Why are you joining? Whisper. whisper. Uh, no, whisper is. Susurrar. Mm. Susurrar. I mean, suspirar is sight. Wait. Sight? Sign. Sign with the end at the end. No, sight. So on the side. Sign. Is I G. S I G H. S I G H T. S I G. Let me corroborate. Sign. Okay. It's a song uh, by uh, this guy's Rolling Stone, the Rolling Stone. Almost hear you sigh. Sign. It's, uh, it's vision. No, no, no. Without the T. Without the T. Without the T. Yes. You see, I knew it. So, spy, so ah, sp sign. Okay, okay. See, so, with T is uh, vision. Yeah. To, yeah, it's your sight, the, the sense of sight. That's true. How do you say eructar in English? Really? How do you say? Eructar. Word. What? Verb. Word. Right? Verb. B-U-R-P. Okay, Burp. Let, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Okay. <laughs> No, wait, how do you say roncar? Snore. Snore, can you write it or spell it? I don't know how to spell it, but I don't know. I don't know. Yes. Oh, oh. I just say snore. You just know that someone does it. There you go. <laughs> My husband. <laughs> I hate that. You know what? This year, she started this year doing that. I don't know why, but we both we both starting this year snoring. We couldn't snore before and now. It doesn't matter if we are sideways or backwards or, or, or upside down. You know, oh my God, it's always weird. I want to show you the most beautiful thing that you will ever see today. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if it will be possible. Can you oh, see it? No. Turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. No, it's, it's not possible. Wait. 
I'm gonna have to remove the filter. I really want to show you this. I'm very proud. <laughs> and the most I'm the proudest dad in the world right now. I almost cry because my wife just brought this to me. Hmm. What is that? What is it that? It looks so name? beautiful. Yeah. She's just it like looks beautiful, this. teacher. Yeah. And that's Photoshop. She's... I couldn't believe it. Uh -huh. She's so unlike you. Yeah, she's just like me. Yeah, this guy is not mine. This is how her name. <laughs> that's Xavier. They they love each other right now. They they're uh, they're always playing, you know. She just graduated from uh, what would it be? Preschooler, preschooler. Hmm. Yeah, she's very smart. Her name is Her name is Julia Beatriz. Hmm. Yeah. The, the other Julia. two guys. I named I named the other two guys, you know, Christopher and Xavier, but. We decided to put uh, my mother-in-law and my wife's name to my daughter. That's why. Okay, so let's have a discussion. I want to I want to hear your best arguments. I mean, how do they do? How do they manage? Did you get that that word? How do you manage to live? with the minimum wage. How do they manage to live the minimum wage? Can somebody translate that question to Spanish? How do you manage to live with the minimum wage? What would be the most appropriate translation? Con ese ingreso. Again, Heidi? Con ese ingreso. Uh -huh, but what, what's the meaning of how do you manage? Como le hacen al Spanish. Uh -huh. that's, that's a proper Salvadorian. Como le hacen con, con minimum wage. Um, how do you manage yourself? That's This is a professional environment. How do you manage yourself with Excel? Mm -hmm. How do you manage with? Learn, learn. How do you manage yourself with Excel? How do you manage yourself under pressure? Under How do you manage yourself under pressure? These are interview questions. How do you manage yourself uh, under pressure? How do you manage yourself with others? You see, the context will change the translation to Spanish. Okay? Yeah. An, American, an American doesn't need to translate, right? Mm. See, it's yeah. very interesting. Okay, so tell me, tell me. What do they do? How do they live? Where do they live? Uh, maybe uh, many, ha many families uh, have to share the house. Uh, in our group, we, we was talking about that in a where, house. Where? We were talking about that. Uh, maybe two or three families have to share to distribute the, the payments. Share the payments. Share the payments. Mm -hmm. What else? Share the expenses, share the payments. Okay. How much do you think they spend a month at the supermarket? I think the, the supermarket is is more expensive than the the, the market. So I oh, the regular, downtown market, the grocery. The, wait, the marketplace. The marketplace it's more expensive than the marketplace. Really? Yes, it's true. That is so true. Or it depends on to the of the supermarket where you go to, right? Maxi Despensa. Maybe they probably go to Maxi Despensa. Yeah, somehow things are cheaper in that supermarket. Okay. Uh, do they have a car? No. Probably not. Not possible. What about a motorcycle? Motorcycle, maybe. 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 Oh, Simon. 
okay, you know what? I have a long time without seeing three or four people in a motorcycle. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Ah, but I, 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 yeah, I used to uh, see people like that. Uh huh. Yesterday, uh, it, uh, an accident. An accident. I saw an accident. I witnessed. I, saw, I witnessed an accident. Uh, three people in a motorcycle. Motorcycle. Father, mother, and, and the children. The the, the child. Uh -huh. And they are in the hospital. Uh, and that's in Sitala. Near from here. Wow. Maybe four kilometers. Oh my God. Um, yesterday in at night when i was in the class mm -hmm. i was uh, watching the, the the news the the facebook post oh so you're watching mm -hmm. facebook during the class yes uh -huh. <laughs> 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 are they okay uh, are they okay no no, no. oh no. my god man it's so sad oh, it's so sad okay now thinking about it would you be willing to work overtime at your job if they allowed you to and if they paid you of course if they paid you if they would pay me i would work really coming from you i wasn't expecting that from you because you work too much <laughs> i mean your uh, job is yes and they don't pay me extra extra time Overtime, overtime. They overtime. Don't pay me overtime. They don't, no, they don't pay me overtime. Really? Well, it's your uh, position. In That's this your country, job. it's commonly mm -hmm. work extra time we don't receive money. <laughs> Without receiving money, true. Without receiving. Mm -hmm. In this country, is a trend, is a trend to work overtime without getting paid. To get to work overtime without getting paid. Hey, let's always think about remember what i told you yesterday i hope you did it today did you try to say something in spanish and then thinking in english hope you did the same thing will happen to you in english you will say something and you will think that may sound better if i say it this way mm -hmm. always always try to do that you will become a pro criticize judge yourself that's the first step Okay, one more opinion mm, about the minimum wage. That's an interesting topic if you think about it. I don't know how we do with my wife. You know, we both work, we have three kids and the mortgage, the mortgage is over $500. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's, it's over 500 a month. Just the mortgage. Then you have the schools, you have the... Okay. okay, I don't know how they do that, you know. <laughs> you know what are utility bills? What are? Utility bills. Uh, yes, maybe. Oh, yes. Water. Water, uh-huh. Uh, Electrify energy. Electricity. Electricity. Um, yeah, no. Okay. Cable TV. Telephone Internet. service. Internet, Internet service. How do we do? And life is very <laughs> and especially if you have a big house, you're you're screwed. And how, I'm not supposed to say that. Uh, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're in trouble. Sabes que en 2007 alguien me dijo eso. Una niña que acaba de venir de Estados Unidos deportada. Ella ha vivido ya toda su vida y me dijo, screw you, Rafael. Okay, give me a screwdriver and I'll screw myself. And she was like, really? You don't know what to screw? No. So homework, I'm not going to say it right now in the class, but find out. It's, it's, it's a bad word. No, not ah, such so, so. Yeah. So, but, so, para que tengas una idea, en 2007, yo todavía tenía que estar aprendiendo cierto léxico y solo lo vas a aprender de gente nativa, te aviso. Ok. Hay ciertos verbos frasales, frases bien nativas, solo vas a agarrar de alguien que ha estado allá. Entonces, so, si tienes un amigo, 
Decirle, te voy a pagar 10 pesos al mes. Te voy a invitar una cerveza cada semana, pero háblame en inglés cada vez que me veas, ¿ok? Got it. Ok. Let's go with your topic. Some, someone's microphone is on and I'm just listening to it. Area 51. Wait. Ok. Let's move on with today's topic, guys. Um, I have some topics to cover still from your book. Um, yesterday, I think we didn't finish did, this, did we? Yeah, we kind of understood it, right? Do you have any questions regarding this? I think we didn't land. I think we didn't land the idea. I'm trying to come up with words that you never heard. That's difficult at this level. Uh, we're trying to land the idea, okay? Land, ground, we're trying to ground the idea of slotting, layout and slotting. What is layout and slotting? Let's land the idea, let's ground it, let's ground it. Get to the point. What is it? No idea? Okay, layout and slotting. Have you, well, if you saw the video, there were some bulk cats. Do you know what is a bulk cat? A lifter, a lifter. Moving the packages, right? William? Yeah, thought you were going to say something. Okay, so there was a lifter, right? And there was a diagram. Did you just notice that there was a diagram with colors on the video? So that's slotting. Slotting, I'm sorry, slotting is slot. The root is S L O T, spot, place. So it's a map, okay, where you draw the lines of the warehouse and you know where each item is. Layout and slotting is the sections of the warehouse. So which concept better describes layout and slotting? Let's see. Fast moving items need to be near the front of the warehouse. Items that are often bought together need to be close to each other. Items that are easily mistaken for each other to be separated. Do you think that's the best description for layout and slotting? What do you think? Yeah. Okay, let's read the next one. It must be easy for your pickers to find items in their journey time between items and between orders should be optimized, I mean, minimized. <clears throat> so again, I was telling you, pickers, I think we haven't understand so good the, the, uh, the concept of a picker. Think about a big warehouse, a huge warehouse a lot of room. How do you move inside that with all these shelves, with big containers, with products? How do they find the things? That's with a layout, okay? And they have organized the slots, they have organized spots where everything is. And peakers are these little uh, lifters moving all around, you know, how do you call that in Spanish? Like, uh, like a mini crane. A mini crane, yeah, but there's a name for that. It's a bulk cat. I know the brand, bulk cat. But they are... Um, oh Monta Carga, thank you. Okay, so do you have this Monta Carga, these lifters moving all around the warehouse, picking things. Walmart does that, right? I mean, Pricemart. Pricemart does that. Okay, any other one?
What is managing returns? Mm -hmm. Maybe number two. Number two, these goods need to be unloaded and then checked off against the original order and the information has to be logged against the customer's account. I will agree with you totally. Definitely, I will agree with you. Number two, that's managing returns. Inbound processes, was that so clear for me? Was it clear for you, anybody? Can you explain me? What part? Inbound processes. Inbound processes. That's what we're, what we're trying to figure out. Among these descriptions, which one fits better for inbound process? For me, it's just the, the action of receiving, receiving the product. And location or uh -huh. around the receiving. Uh, no, in the location, receiving uh, the products and the warehouse, in the warehouse. Okay. PA number three. Three items need to be checked and logged as they are received and put away in the correct bins or packed for dispatch without further storage. Yeah, inbound process. Whether you put it away, what, what did we say was, was a synonym for put away? Say, keep. Say, keep. Excellent, Alex. Thank you. You see, you don't have to miss classes, Alexander. We missed you, you know, the concepts. So, yeah, get synonyms. Okay, or, so whether you're putting away the packages or you're just sending them out of the store, out of the warehouse, you know, that's inbound process. Shipping, you know it. Packing, it's simple as well. So let's move on. Tonight, uh, we have to talk about how to make suggestions, suggestions, suggestions related to warehouse management issues. Hmm. Suggestions related to warehouse management issues. What, what comes to your mind when you hear that? You know what? Maybe my brain, my brain was thinking about management. And that's why I made you the question, how do you manage yourself? Te aguantas a ti mismo. ¿Cómo, no, cómo, cómo te... Oh my God, how do you manage yourself? ¿Cómo te controlas? How do you manage yourself? I wonder. You're always busy. How do you manage yourself? <laughs> okay, so what comes to your mind when you hear the suggestions related to warehouse management issues? What, what issues could there be? Do we, do we understand the concept of management? Uh, maybe they have to register up the issues and sometimes they have protocols to, to follow when the issues occur. The issues occur, occur. Uh -huh. hmm. What kind of suggestions? Uh, that would be a suggestion. Yeah. Following protocols, good job for following protocols and that you do that with uh, a, a flow chart you do that with a flow chart right yeah for example maybe you have a system and the internet doesn't work and you have to locate uh, the, the position that you have to to put away the that specific item but you you you, you don't you can you can find because the system doesn't work so maybe they have uh, in paper the location is more difficult, but he, you can find the location, the right location to put the, the writing in this case. Jargon. <laughs> Jargon. Yeah. Jargon. Remember? Oh, come on, remember, for I told you, what is Jargon? Ah, what's the sir? No, 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 Jargon, remember. 
technical technical words ah uh, technical words ah, okay. remember jargon yeah if if haiti starts talking to us about interest you know the financial interest of this property goes on top of the i forgot how to say product internal bruto in english oh my god ah anyways but you got it technical yes. words yeah yes. that's overwhelming another word that you should be you should have on your vocabulary so I said, guys, jargon, find out, go Google it. Jargon, overwhelm. Can somebody tell me what is overwhelm? Yeah. Yeah, you are a teacher. <laughs> it is overwhelm. It's the same overwhelm. Yeah, overwhelm. Okay, good. So a synonym for issues, for some of you, some of you don't understand that word. What is issue? Problem. 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 Good, William. Yeah, problem. Trouble. An incident. So again, I can... An incident. Incidents. Yeah. And in human beings, <clears throat> In human beings, you have trouble, you know, like mental issues. Be careful with that. Never tell someone you have issues. Okay, it's a joke. It could be a joke if it is your friend, you know, but it sounds something serious. You have issues. You should go to the doctor, to the psychiatrist. You have issues. Okay. Okay. Context. Let's go. First, two questions of this topic. What are some common issues? What are some common issues related to warehouse management? What are some common issues related to warehouse management? Hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. At this point, guys, I need you to start coming out of the box. <clears throat> you need to start coming out of the box. What do I mean? You have to think as a manager, as the owner of a company, this is your company, this is your inventory, your warehouse, and you are the one in charge of administering, you know, managing all everything around. So think about it. Some common issues related to warehouse management. It's not just trouble, it's not just problems, you know, but think before before the actions. One of the problems is not having the right people on the right position, right? What, what, right. If the, what if the person in charge of the warehouse doesn't know what he's doing? You know, is someone not prepared on inventory management, not prepared on computer, you know, not techie, he's not techie. You will need to train him, right? Or get someone else. Get the right person on the right place. That could be a problem. What else can you think of? Lack of communication. Lack of communication, Sulema, in what sense? Uh, for example, if the, the personnel in the warehouse doesn't um talk or inform to the all activities in the warehouse you can do a, or make a, a mistake or maybe delay the time of the operations uh to provide supplies to the production floor or supplies to the packing department or to shipment the products Excellent, got it, communication. What if the, um, the man in charge of the warehouse didn't inform you that there is not enough product, you know, not enough X product, you know? And you, you need to supply a big, a big uh, order. You get a big order and there's no product. How For example, if you have a problem with, the, with your systems, or the, the software that you have to manage 
uh, all the process in the, in the warehouse, uh, you have to notify to the right person to solve the problem or to solve the, the issue and avoid uh, big problems for your, uh, uh, for, for, your, for uh -huh, your company. How come? How come nobody told me about this, right? How uh, come? Uh, well, usually the system has the way to, to show you when the stock of our article is the minimum is the maximum, they have indicators. Uh, so you can you can take an order with this the the stock, uh, stock, but they usually have the this uh, the same to to handle that because uh, they don't have to say to the customer, hey, we, we don't have a stock to supply you. It, they have to, to do the sales and they have protocols to, to follow to get the articles on time to send to the to the customer. Excellent. Fer, try to use tell. Okay, try to use tell when it is a direct thing, you know, tell to the customer, say to the customer. And yes, I think you're talking about KPIs. Uh, Luis, Luis was talking about this. Luis, can you enlighten us? Can you tell us what is a KPI? K performance indicators. Key, key. key. Yeah, sorry, key performance indicators is, is yeah. Is a set of indicators in the balance scorecard for the department or some area in the companies. Mm -hmm. Does that apply for inventories? Sorry? Is this applicable for a warehouse? Yeah. Yeah. For example, one indicator could be a damaged product in a period of time. Mm -hmm. How much do you spend with the damage? Mm -hmm. uh, how, how much you how, take? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how much do you invest in the maintenance, for example. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. How much you spend on your employees training on your employees medical leaves, for example. How do you say incapacidad in English? Medical leave. Medical leave. Yeah, are you on medical leave? Medical leaves, okay. So let's just talk about this, please be creative. I mean, think as a manager, think as a, an administrator right now, you can do it. It's very simple. Just think how a company is organized, all the departments that compose your company, okay? What issues could be related you know, to, to warehouse management? What could happen? Accidents that could happen, I mean, and just the way, just the way Suleiman, you know, one little problem. So I, I always tell this to my kids. I always tell this to my kids. Every action has a consequence. Whether it is negative or positive, there's always a consequence of, for your actions. So try to get positive you know, consequences all the time and you will be good in life. That's all. Okay. And then they go like, but dad, what if I lie? If you lie, do you think you're going to get a positive consequence? They go like, yeah. No. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, guys, let's go. Let's go. Two questions. Page 30. Thank <laughs> you. 
Josue, can you share the material? To read it. No. Hi, Jay, how are you? Okay. Uh, what are some common issues related to warehouse management? How can these issues affect productivity? For example, they can get, get out, of, out of space. Erwin, has this happened to you ever? The number one, but uh, 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 some common, okay. Uh, for example, getting out of space from your warehouse. But I will I will take I will talk about this the general okay the general okay but in the warehouse uh, the first you have to have a good program but the programs for to work at this program you need the controls but the controls for to work with the controls you need a document but if the document have a mistake yeah. Have a mistake because one person can uh, write really the document will be bad and the document will affect the programs and the control the as for the control will be bad because the personal is not have a KPI KPI so KPI yeah I will uh, for me, the personal is the most important in the warehouse, yeah? The personal or their knowledge? The knowledge. Document. The document. Yes. Docu document. 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 Yes. There you go. You got it. Yes. Type and, the document. And Haiti, hey, yeah, to run out of space. Have you ever run out of space? Yes. Okay. Hey, I can't believe I'm finding some areas of improvement on you, Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Hey, that's good. I, I thank you for giving me some work, you know. <laughs> I appreciate that. You correct this reading. I know it's difficult. Hey, no, it's not difficult. Did I recommend you some books? I did, right? Yeah, I told you. Yeah, I told you about the books. Yeah. Managing books are amazing. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. Yes. <clears throat> Issues. Affect productive productivity, right? The page is scary, no? Yes, yes. Okay. I remember that I issue regular issues, uh, the order on warehouse to determine, to calculate, uh, for example, when, uh, when I was working in a factory, they had problem to, for example, they tried to, to have a warehouse for, for, for different countries. Mm -hmm. But I, the, at the end, they mix all products and when they try to find what product is from El Salvador, from Honduras, or Guatemala, they have problem to 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 find that specific load of product. Why? Because at, because when they have problem with that uh, in a specific country, they take a product from doesn't matter what country is that problem and what is the problem with that when i try to define the 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 what is the current the, the planning course, of, the of, of, of production the planning of production they they didn't have the capability to separate 
uh, on the warehouse, the, that production, because it's really expensive, try to separate in that level, uh, at, at least in that company. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is a, a problem that I saw I, in that company. And, mm -hmm. In my company, it's the same because we, we, uh, uh, we export uh, the material uh, to Honduras. And uh, when Honduras. don't have don't have a good information or I don't know how do you say textilera I don't know the text the textilera sent to a uh, wrong in the the wrong information in the material and we need a return to the old product or or material no product no no old material because it's wrong and is the cost is very high and the company decide uh, don't return is um, destroy the product is the decision the final decision because a uh, return is more expensive Another issue that I think is frequently to how there is, they don't have a good, a good, a good, um, a, a good record of the product that the warehouse have. For example, I has, a, I, for example, I remember a, a problem that occurred frequently that they they need to destroy a product because the product stay there at the warehouse for a long time and because they don't control the rotation of the product uh, many times they when I, when they go to the to watch the, the physical product is it is damaged why? Because the, the water the water damaged, or the time is other reason why. In this country, maybe it's frequently found that kind of problem, that kind of problems. It's frequent to issues. find. It's frequent to find. It's frequent to find. Yeah. Frequent to In find. this country, is frequent. In this country, is frequent. 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 To find this kind of frequent, issues. it's, it's frequent, frequent to find frequent that kind. Frequent, frequent, uh, frequent, 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 frequently. Oh. It, it is frequently. It frequent. frequent. <laughs> <laughs> it's frequent to find that kind of problem here. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> Teacher, okay. yep. Right now, I don't have Wi Fi. This is the reason why I don't have. No, I can turn off my camera. Okay. But okay. I hear teacher. I you're you're hearing. Okay, perfect. It's okay. Thank you. Don't worry. Hopefully you don't run out of data. Let's go back.
Okay. Good. Hey, great job. You were very good actually uh, having this conversation, um, distinguishing things among others. It was really good. Thank you, guys. I, I know you love this kind of topics. You can get in love, you know, fall in love with this kind of things. Um, even if it sounds boring, I mean, but you can find sense to it. You're very smart. Let me do the attendance for the second time tonight. Uh, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Katie Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present, teacher. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present, teacher. Okay. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Yeah. Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Thank you. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Señores, como un premio, voy a llevar a cabo una actividad que estaba esperando tener, pero dije que me juré que solo lo iba a hacer cuando estuvieran todos. Ok, vamos a tomar un receso. Esto, según la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, quiero que quede grabado esto, según la Organización Internacional del Trabajo, es algo necesario en todo curso de desarrollo profesional poder incentivar a los alumnos a que cambien su mentalidad, a que crean en definitiva que pueden cambiar su vida volviéndose organizados, disciplinados. ¿Qué es la disciplina? Hacer lo que tenés que hacer cuando lo tenés que hacer, aunque no lo quieras hacer. Okay? Do what you have to do when you have to do it, whether you like it or not. Just do it. So I'm going to share with you something. Uh, and I'll send it on the WhatsApp. It's okay. Morning. Okay. Les voy a dar dos minutos. Son siete minutos nada más de su tiempo. Que primero Dios pues les ayude a muchos. A mí me cambió la vida este video. Es uno de los que me ha ayudado a, a convertirme en otra persona. Es difícil. Cuesta muchísimo. Pero créanme. No te va a ayudar. Te va a ayudar a tu familia. Tus hijos. Algo que no te enseñan en la escuela. Y te deberían enseñar. So, tenemos solamente siete minutos. Let's go. Just watch it. We will be here.
Let me know when they're ready to return. I'm done. You're done. Okay. What do you think? I feel, how do you say, como me siento familiarizado. I feel Familiar. related. Hopefully. Related. Good. Related. That's better. I feel related. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. and uh -huh. Sometimes, for example, I, I am a, a man of habits. I prefer to be in my house. Uh, I feel better. I feel better here. I I prefer to 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 be in my house to go out to to the beach or something like that. I I, I feel good here. But maybe when I go to the beach or something like that, when I I I be there, I feel I feel good. When I'm there, I feel good. So you like to be on your comfort zone? Yes, yes. yes. I I prefer to be to be there in my in my comfort zone. But because of your job, I will think that you are on your learning curve. You're on the learning curve too. Yes, that that's cool. Uh, every day is updating. Every day, so I have to update. I have maybe some sometimes I have to to do extra job for uh, uh, and so it's, yeah, every day is the same like the, the video said <laughs> and that's if you want that's the i have point. a routine every day and <laughs> that is my comfort zone every day all the days of the, of the year that's true that's true and that's being an adult i will say what do you think i didn't Irene, by the way, you're staying with me tonight for 10 minutes. Oh, um, no. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, no problem for me, but in this level, I stay with you uh, once. One time. Yes, but for me, it doesn't matter. Yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be twice this module. Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. So, what do you think? About the video, um, I think that is uh, interesting because uh, always we are so good in our comfort zone, but it's necessary to be to be conscious that we need dream and working so hard for get our goals and getting every day every a little goals and we need to get our dreams we need to accomplish our dreams to reach our dreams yeah that's something that they don't teach us in school right and as parents sometimes we just forget you know we in the daily basis it's like a routine that we have every day we forget about teaching our kids. They they don't have to stop dreaming. So that's sad. That's really sad. So, but it's never too late. It's never too late. That's the message. Okay, do it. Do it. You're still on time to encourage your kids to do better. Whatever they have to do. Okay, one more. Someone else who wants to just give his opinion or her opinion really quick. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, I hope you got the message. Espero que hayan agarrado el mensaje y que les sirva. Okay. 
let's move it let's keep going so we are on page 30 by the way of your workbooks and we were talking about common issues related to the warehouse how can these issues affect the productivity so how can these problems that you have identified um, affect the productivity of your job you said it many of you were talking about latency latency on the delivery on the shipping or storaging you know products um, spoiling products spoiling or running out you're running out of products communication and so on right so imagine oh i need help here uh let me see Jose alberto can you please read the three bullet points how do you say vignettas Arts. Ah, we get bullet points. Okay. Okay. Imagine you are a warehouse manager and you are experiencing problems with inventory counts and misplaced products with up of the following issues. Will you solve first? Excellent. Almost, almost. Hold on. Repeat. Experiencing experiencing excellent experiencing problems with inventory counts and misplaced product very good which which of the following issues would you solve first go ahead continue run the issues from one least effects productivity to five most effects productivity again rank yes. rank least affects productivity, must affects productivity. Go ahead. Discuss a ranking with a partner. Excellent. Okay, let's see what options we have, Luis Ardesto. Okay. Inaccurate receipts and purchase order. Again. Receipts. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. Uh -huh. Okay. Lack of communication between employees. Employees. Good job. Mm -hmm. Lack of cooperation between departments. Again, cooperation. Cooperation. Between departments. Very good. Next. Mm -hmm. Time management. Great job. Nice. Warehouse space and organization. Good job. You just need to classify. Good job, Luis. Thank you. You just need to classify which of these five uh, which of these five factors will affect the productivity of a plant or a, or a workplace um, from the most least. Okay. So from the biggest uh, grade to the lowest grade. So let me just flip you so you can start working on this. Just go from one to five or five to one. Actually, the, the, the biggest one goes on top. Let's see. Um, and then we have to find a definition for each one of these um, new vocabulary. So what is drop shipping? What is public warehouse, what is private warehouse, direct shipping and contract warehouse. So I'm just gonna split you. I'm gonna let you know which one you will explain in the class. It could be just one of you explaining what is each thing, okay? So we're gonna do exercises two and three simultaneously, okay? We're just gonna do it together. I'm gonna send you the screenshots to your WhatsApp so you can work together. Señores, por favor, estamos la cámara. No estamos eh, en una clase totalmente virtual donde, ya, yeah. por favor, démosle sentido humano a esto. Sendamos nuestras cámaras, please. Okay, let's go. Feels weird. Let's go.
What we had to order about what? About the what affect more the productive? Okay. Uh -huh. Which of these yeah, five the productivity uh -huh, affects uh -huh. in a greater way the productivity? That's right. Keep going. Okay. Guys, I'm gonna stand up for a minute. Okay. I'll be back really quick. Okay. Okay. Can see in the presentation inaccurate. What is inaccurate? Como equivocado, pero quiero que. Maybe this is number number five. Because when is incorrect is wrong in the purchase oh, orders you need a uh, uh -huh. you need you you need a uh, process is the much money So the, the first one is inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. For, for and recipe purchase order. Number four, warehouse space in organization. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just because the company uh, doesn't have a um, space to to save the products. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe number three is lack cooperation between between department. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you need uh, information the other department. Information from other departments. Good job. Hey, don't forget, don't forget we're going we're doing bullet point number three as well. It's two and three, okay? Good. Lots. That communication between recording in progress. <laughs> Mm. What are you doing? Are you thinking, overthinking? Mm. Uh, well, well uh, I am this. We are deciding what we we will do first. If the the how do you say the quadrito? Uh, chart. <laughs> the chart. The chart. Which chart? Do the first one, the number two, and then you do number three. Okay. Number okay. two is easier. Number two is easier. Yes. Okay, we will start sharing once and again. Manager, you're in the warehouse manager. Uh -huh. And your specs, and you are experiencing problems. Experiencing. Experiencing. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. With inventory calls and misplaced product, which of the following issues would you solve first? What is uh -huh. oh, okay. primero? Is a wrong issues from one that affects productivity to five most affects productivity. Discuss the ranking with a partner. Correct. In that way, with sips and purchases, purchases, or Ajá, de uno a cinco, dice entonces. Okay. Communication is the um, most affects. Less effect productivity. Uno es como lo que menos afecta y cinco lo que más afecta. Okay. Yes, and we have the 
in Macquarie receipts and purchase orders. Lack of cooperation between departments, time management. Time management, time management is fine. For okay, this space is the organization, first one that you will maybe. Solve. Sorry, Fernando, sorry. Uh, this is the first one that you will solve if you are the imagine you if you are the manager, the tank management. Ah, maybe. Se dice que es lo primero que va a solucionar. No, 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 no. Ah, si quiero ver. Sí. Ah, es cierto. Se que. I guess that is warehouse space and organization. Sí, uh, maybe. I don't know what do you say. Yes. The most. No. Mm. Ranking. Least. Least. The mm. difference. Least uh, yes. That we will resolve. Warehouse and space organization. Warehouse space and organization. After that. The second can be time management. Touch management. The third one can be inaccurate receipt and purchase orders. Mm, yes, I mean, mm, but I guess that is lack of cooperation between department. Um, what do you number think four. Alexander. Hola. I can be the first man if you were the manager. I guess that pero, is the warehouse space and organization, but what about the second one? Pero, Would it be time Vaya, por ejemplo, acá lo que entiendo es que eh, se lleva de 1 a 5, pero de todos esos problemas, porque todos son problemas, ¿cuál es el que va a resolver primero? ¿Cuál sientes que afecta más? Y de a partir de ese ir bajando y bajando en cuentas regresivas, digo yo. No, es que ¿cuál no? problema afecta más la productividad de la compañía en general? Mm. Ajá, y cuál, cuál, ajá, dice, which of the following issues would you solve first? ¿Cuál resolverías primero? Warehouse, space and organization. I will resolve that one, warehouse space. Yeah, because in concept, pues... Está pues... confuso porque mm -hmm. dice, ¿cuál de los siguientes problemas resolverías primero? Pero después dice, haz un rank, o sea, uh -huh. del 1 al 5, uh, del que menos afecta la productividad al que más afecta la productividad. El punto es que determines, en base a eso, cuál le tiene más importancia. Uh -huh. Por eso decía yo que hacer del 5 para abajo. You got it, you got it. But now, okay. the customer directly. We're ready. Is this What? Really? You did number two and three already? No. <laughs> number no. one. Number two. Oh, okay. So you already classified, you already rank uh, the level of importance of each one, right? Of the issues. Okay. But what about the, the third part? Have you found the concepts? No. Okay. That's the second part too. Drop shipping work. Hey, that was good. Move move goods from the manufacturer directly to the retailer without going through the usual distribution channels. The shopping network has begun drop shipping orders taken by telephone. Oh, that's drop shipping. Yeah. You know, that's a trend right now. You buy something on Amazon 
and they don't send it from their warehouse. They just send it directly from a, from a provider, the closest provider to you sends it to you. That's faster That's shipping. The customer. Uh huh. And sometimes if you, you can become a provider too, you can buy stuff from, yes. you know, big, big volume of products and then sell them through Amazon, but you don't have a warehouse. You're buying it directly from the provider and they ship the item for you. I mean, you, you, you do nothing more than put the items on, on Amazon. It's crazy. That sounds like it. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. Number three, this is weird. William, we're seeing your face and here and there too. Oh my God, two Williams, that's too much. Okay, and so number one, stop. <laughs> when, when you have your own company, your company is, is, is going to be like a hush puppies. But they oh. appear as the, the dog in the, in the imaging. Yeah, and in some pictures, he wears uh, glasses. Yeah, sorry. Hello, teacher. We finished, by the way. Really? You're done with two and three? Yeah, yes. of course. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, yes. let me let me talk to you then for a minute. Let's see. Uh, what is drop shipping? Um, it is uh, basically that you don't have the product, but you put in your store that you like that you have, but the product it is in your store uh, warehouse just you are in intermediate between the real in the stock and the customer excellent what is public warehouse oh. is this garage open to the general public oh last one okay yeah, just a few words, the first line, and you got it. That's true. Private warehouse. Uh, we uh, think mm -hmm. that is uh, operated by by an independent business offering, for example, storage, handling, transportation, um, and variable fee. I will say that private warehouse, is a warehouse owned by a third party. They provide specialized services in addition to allowing the client to store goods. They not, not only they, not only they, okay, not only they allowed you to um, store your goods, but they also, they provide a specialized services like delivering services and stuff. A uh, contract warehouse sounds more like an independent business offering a range of services such as storage, handling, or transportation on the basis uh, of okay. a fixed or variable fee because there is a contract. Just the, the sound, right, Luis? Just the sound of fixed or variable fee is something contractual. It's a contractual mm. thing, something that you agree both parties yeah, agree mm, with the partner. It's mm -hmm. an agreement, yeah. agreement, contract. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, maybe we I'm have so to. Smart. I'm so smart. I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's just logic. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, this guy is crazy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, guys. Hey. It's Thursday, tomorrow is Friday, December 10th. And just 14 more days and we're in Christmas, people. Yeah. Time flies. Yes. Christmas is on. Yes? Please again. The Christmas is soon. It's soon. Christmas is soon. Yeah. Christmas is coming. It's coming. 
It's around the corner. Yes, yeah, around the corner, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's take it back so you can explain the class what you understood, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay. Josie, Josie, how was your day at the call center? I think it uh, was not a uh, good day for me related to the work, to the call. I received many, how do you say offenses in English? Many bad words from customer, many mm -hmm. complaints. And the short call that I got was the shortest, I, the shortest. The shortest Call that I got once was nine forty minutes. All my calls were around more than forty minutes. One was on an, an hour. Do <laughs> you really? What happened? What, what what was the trend? Was it the same trend? Yes, it was the same. But I don't know. I guess that my queue was wrong today. I don't know what I just received many bad calls. But anyway, tomorrow will be better because I. Oh my God. The, I leave the, I left, sorry, the handle time terrible at 20, something else. My boss was mad. How many calls did you but, take, but I, do, but I received the Christmas bonus today. Me too, me too. <laughs> I was happy. And I got a basket. I got a Christmas basket too. Ouch. Really? Yeah, with products from Selectos, but this this kind of products that are like very exclusive, like I don't I don't know Swiss cheese, some cookies from London, and things like that, and a bottle of wine. Oh, amazing! And I already drank it before the glass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fancy. Fancy. <laughs> That's so fancy, right? It was a fancy basket. True. Those are called gourmet baskets. Yes, it was a gourmet basket. That's true. They're very popular in the States, you know. I used to work for a call center called 1-800-Flowers. 1-800-Flowers. And it's, I mean, you could pick among many baskets with cheese, wine, grapes, I mean, fruit. And that was very expensive, really. Don't believe me. Just Google it. Harry London chocolates. Harry London chocolates. It's a lot of money for chocolates. Okay. And if you haven't tried it, go to Chow's. Do you like Chow's chocolates? Chow's? No? Yeah. If nobody has given you Chow's chocolates, I'm so sorry, but they don't love you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's bring up the topic. I need to hear you guys. So first, what is the correct ranking? Can you please take a stamp from your tools? Grab a stamp, grab a stamp, grab a stamp. Go ahead, grab a stamp. What's number one? What's the level of importance here to solve? Warehouse, Alexander, Sulema. okay. Warehouse space and organization. Hmm. They say that's number one. What do you think, guys? Warehouse space. By the way, warehouse space. Warehouse space and organization. Luis Ernesto agrees. Agrees with warehouse space and organization. Okay. Now that third one is the, is the most affects. Is, is the one that affects the most to the productivity. Okay. Hmm. Johnny says time management. Hmm. I don't know, Rick. We'll see. Do we all agree is warehouse space and organization? Let's think about this. What affects what? Time affects the warehouse space and organization or does warehouse space and organization affects the timing? second one second one right yeah so you're yeah. totally right 
warehouse space and organization. If you don't have appropriate space, you're not organized with your items, you waste time amazingly. I totally agree with you. So time management will be will be second. We all agree. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll buy it. What's number three? Inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. Inaccurate. This is not easy. Inaccurate. 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 Could be both, inaccurate and accurate. Inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. So that's like receiving the wrong information, what Lema was saying, right? Inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. Why will that affect the production? Can somebody explain to me, please? I don't know. Hello, can somebody explain it, please, why inaccurate receipts and purchase orders affects the productivity? Uh, for example, mm, if you... Sorry, Sulema, continue. Sorry. <laughs> uh, continue. No, go, go, go ahead. <laughs> okay, first Jocelyn and then we have Sulema. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, maybe because of the request they received. Because of the... So the request. The request they receive. If it is wrong, yeah. It, there's a result. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for example, if you don't have the correct uh, data for the purchase order, you maybe uh, overproduce uh, products. Okay. Uh, or, or for example, you can satisfy the need of your of your customers. Yeah, well, we were talking about last time uh, backlog orders, backlog orders. Remember, you cannot accomplish the orders. You know, you cannot fulfill the orders. I'm sorry, you cannot fulfill the orders, or you get in the end overstack. You're overstacking your inventory. Okay. And so the last one is lack of cooperation between departments, which is, or no, or is it lack of communication between employees? What's wrong? What's number four and what's number five? That's number four. Wait, what's number four? Lack of cooperation between departments. Between departments? Isn't it the yeah, same? That's, that's number mm -hmm. four. Number four could be lack of communication between employees. Is there first? line of the chain oh because they're the first line on the chain how do you call that they're the front line front line employees right they're the first line of the chain i got you and then cooperation between departments hmm. but the departments are composed by employees in the end so if you correct the employees the whole department will work well make sense yeah yeah Totally. Awesome. Okay, you got it. You're ready to graduate as administrators, actually. This, this is not <laughs> difficult. This is not difficult. Okay, let's buy the park. Let's continue. Drop shipping. Someone, many of you were able to land the idea in this uh, topic. So tell me, what is uh, drop shipping? Okay, no volunteer. I'm gonna choose a victim. Luis Ernesto, please read it. Oh wait, what is that? What is drop shipping? I, I was asking for drop shipping. A return. That's Go right. ahead, Yuri. Go ahead, Luis. <laughs> uh, the retailer does not keep good in stock, but Instead, transfer customer orders and shipment details to the manufacturer. 
another mm -hmm. retailer or a wall seller who then ships um, the goods directly to the customer. Good job. Repeat. Directly. Yeah, excellent. Repeat, wholesaler. Wholesaler. The wholesaler, wholesaler. Uh, who then ships, ships, ships. Uh -huh. the goods directly to the customer. Okay, so there is no intermediary. You know, it goes directly to the customer. Okay, so that will be drop shipping. Okay. Okay, what's the next one? What's public warehouse? It is a storage facility that is open to the general public while the, the skin of the warehouse is used by private individuals. They are also used by combine, companies of small to medium size to store their good safety for me to check. <laughs> Safely, yeah. That's public warehouse, do we all agree? Yes. Makes sense, right? Okay. What's private warehouse? Warehouse owned by a third party entity. This warehouse provides specialized services in addition to allowing the client to store goods. Wait, you say that private warehouse is warehouse owned by a third party, right? A third party entity? Do we all agree? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally. That's a private warehouse. Why? So what is a direct shipping? First one. This is a method of delivering goods from the supplier to the customer directly. Okay. Direct shipping. Okay. Uh, I was telling Luis's group that that makes sense, right? When you think about that, I mean, private and public and contract warehouse because of what it says here. Uh, so this is the contract. What a house. Where, warehouse, warehouse. Where, warehouse. Yeah, warehouse. Oh, come on, warehouse. Warehouse. Right. Warehouse. So why, what does that make sense to me? It's because what it says at the end, fixed or variable fee. And I thought, well, how do they, how do they determine what is fixed and what is variable? It's a contractual term, you know, you only make a contract agreeing with a third party, agreeing with someone else. And time's up, oh my God, two minutes to 10. I'm staying with Irene, okay. Thank you very much, time flew today. That was awesome. Gracias chicos por estar conmigo una noche más, de verdad, todos, todos, muchas gracias, no falten ya, esto es lo último, seis días más, and we're done, okay. Ada, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Andres Giovanni Valdez, Portillo. Present, good night. Good night. Carolina Yvette Avelino. Present, good night. Kirwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Ponte Morales. Present, good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuera Albanés. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present teacher, good night. Good night, José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present, good night. Good night, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present, good night. 
Good night, Suleima, Yvonne, Moreno, de Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Good night. Good night, Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Have some rest. How are you tonight, Irene? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. <laughs> How's your life going? I see you very busy lately, like with a lot of work, stress. Yes, yes, because uh, we are uh, working at the ending of the year and it's so hard in at the uh, in my job because we going to going to go to vacation next week and we need to to do all the activities in the less in the less time than the other than the other months mm -hmm. right and and then it's a, a difficult because we need to work quickly for do every activity in less time. And, and for this reason, I'm I'm working overtime and I'm working Saturdays. Next Saturday, I'm going to go to work in the next Saturday too. But but I hope to be on vacation next saturday next saturday 18 18th and friday yes. is our last day of class so yes you will be free and happy yes anyway, enjoy and um i will i will come back to work on january January 5, I think. January 5th? Yes. Is that your annual vacations? I have um, three, three, three times, three periods three of that vacation year. Three periods, good. Three periods of vacation, three vacation okay. periods. Three, three, va period. three vacation periods of three, the year. Periods. Repeat periods. 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 Period. Okay. And on Holy Semana Santa? Holy Holy Week. Mm -hmm. Holy Week and then August August vacation and now Christmas Eve. Yes, one month. Once once a year. Awesome. We need to finish things in a shorter period yes. of time. Okay. Period, period. This is the way it reads, period. Okay. Due to the holidays, due to the holidays. Really? Oh my God. So what are you planning to do during all this time? Sleep? Yes, um, uh, uh, start, start, rest. rest. Okay, rest. And I hope to go to El Pital or El Pital. I think I would like to go there. Uh, for the weather because I love the cold weather. Yes. Have you ever been there? Yes. A little two times. Two times. Oh, wait. What do you mean a little two times? Uh, like twice uh, already. Uh, twice in my life. Uh, about twice. About two times in my life. Twice really? in my life. Yes. When was, and... when was the last time you went? When? When was the last time you went? When? A long time ago, before the pandemic, COVID-19. And like um, four years ago, because then um, for the pandemic, I stopped to go out. But now I would like to, to go out. For example, I would like to go to El Volcán, El Volcán, El, El Boquerón, yes, mm -hmm. El Boquerón. I really, I really 
like to go to picnic rest restaurant. Yes, yeah, I, I, I went to, I went there one, once. Once. Did I no? tell you that I was there this month? Um, I went oh? to pick, no, you were not here. On no. November, on November 15th, we went with my wife and mm -hmm. there was Prueba de Sonido live. I did. I I I watch uh, the social media that they they was they, they were, were at they were at the anniversary anniversary. Who? They. Prueba de sonido was an anniversary. No, oh. the, the place, the place, the oh, restaurant. Oh, the big thing restaurant was on. An yes. I didn't know that. I was on an anniversary. <laughs> I don't know, I but for for this it. for this reason they were celebrating with Prueba de Sonido, but I don't know yeah, if I confuse you, it. Where did you see that? <laughs> was that an Instagram? Ah, uh, the Facebook on uh, Facebook. I was there. Ah. I was with Alex. You know, it's just that Alex. We, we took a picture with Alex. Yeah. Ah, it, yes. But don't don't look for it. Don't look for it. I don't want you to see me. So. Ah. <laughs> Okay. okay. Food is very cold. It's really cold. Okay. But the food I is like, delicious. I would like to go there on vacation because I think there is an amazing place for visit. An to place. visit. An amazing place. An amazing place to visit. Excellent. Have you studied English before? Yes. <laughs> I studied English a long time ago, but during uh, a long time, but I I have problem with my grammar and with my vocabulary. But you're doing great. It's just that, are you hyper normally? I mean, in Spanish, in your life, are you like very hyper? <laughs> okay, okay. I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I analyze people, you know. I I noticed you, but you're trying to stop yourself. That's what happens. You're trying to stop yourself. That's what I do. I go like. Okay. Right? You stay quiet. And then when you have to, to, to speak, you just go for it. And that's good. That is good. You observe, then you think, and then you speak. And that's okay. good. It's really good. The, pro the problem is that there's certain point uh, in which you have to listen to yourself because at this point you are trusting yourself. right? So you, you believe that you can speak very well. That's perfect. But listen to yourself. How? Record. Record yourself. Listen to yourself. Oh my God, yeah. Did I say that right? I'm gonna ask the teacher. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Try to find support. Um, watch videos at this point. What do you do? What What's your favorite thing to do when it comes to to listening to English or watching movies in English or reading? I don't know. Watching series in English on weekend. Always, I'm trying to improve my vocabulary. I'm watching TV, series on TV mm -hmm. uh, in English, and I'm trying to understand, and I try to to don't don't watch the sub, subtitles subtitles sub, subtitles because I I I would like to understand them. Understand. Without without subtitles, on weekend on weekend I'm trying to do it. Mm -hmm. Well, think about it. The speed of speech, the speed of speech of the movies could be too fast. You know, that that could happen. But yeah, that's that's good. That's very good. And I, I'm trying to improve my vocabulary. Mm. Uh, 
following um, por las que la mujer termina en following uh, videos en TikTok, ¿Ah? but uh, following in, uh, in videos in English, right? And for for example, uh, always I'm uh, looking for teachers that they upload videos uh, in upload, English. Upload. Up upload videos in English in this in this social media and I like I enjoy it. I download some some of them and are an excellent idea for improve our vocabulary. They give you ideas, tips. Yes, tips. Okay. I have some videos in my in my in my memory in the cell phone memory. Oh. about different different vocabulary topics. topics and i would like to do it because it's an a good way for improve our to improve. language to improve okay just keep in mind yeah because you, you just did it like three or four times during this conversation to verb for noun okay to <laughs> eat for for you for me for this for that okay for okay. now to verb okay great job it hope you have a wonderful night thank you for staying with me okay same for you see you tomorrow see you tomorrow bye